Hello, and welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, we will be learning how to install OS Ticket on a Windows server with IIS. Before we begin, let's go over the prerequisites that you will need. For the web server, we're going to use IIS. For the PHP version, we recommend 7.3. And for the MySQL database, you're going to need to use version 5 or above. And I usually use version 5.5. Since I'm setting up OS Ticket on my local machine, I will need to enable IIS in the Windows Features. To do this, hit the Windows button on your keyboard and type Windows Features. Alright, and then you're going to see Internet Information Services. You're just going to check that and click OK. Next, you can go ahead and look for administrative tools, and from there you'll see IIS Manager in the list after it applies these changes. And there it is. Now we can work on having all of the prerequisites mentioned earlier in the setup. The easiest way to do this is with the Web Platform Installer extension. You can find the download for it by googling Web Platform Installer and visiting the Microsoft.com result. This is the one we're going to choose. And so just install this extension. Once the installation finishes, open up the Web Platform Installer. Search for MySQL and add the version 5.5. Next, we're going to search for PHP and add each version of PHP leading up to 7.3. I'm going to sort by name so it's a little easier. And we're going to do these that just have the version number on them. I'm going to do x86. Alright, and it's going to add anything else that you need right here. So once you've added everything, go ahead and, you know what, we'll try to install this, but I have a feeling, okay, it's going to try. So go ahead and click install. Right here, the installer is going to ask you to create a password for the admin user, which is going to be a root. Make sure that you remember this password. And continue. All right, so that took a second, and as you can see, it failed on the PHP Manager for IIS and PHP 7.3.7. .7. Not really sure why this happens, but sometimes things just fail with the web platform installer. So I'm going to actually download these manually, and we are going to start with PHP 7.3. So I'm going to go ahead and click finish right here. I have the link already up here for PHP 7.3, and don't worry, I can put these links in the description below. You're going to want to download the zip. Alright, so now that that's done, we're going to go ahead and extract.
And then from here, we need to go ahead and move this folder. So I'm gonna copy it. And I'm going to shift over to the C drive. Give this a refresh. I'm gonna go to Program Files x86. And I'm gonna go to this PHP folder. And right here, you're gonna see all the versions that successfully installed. I'm just going to paste this folder with PHP 7.3 right here. All right, now that that's done, I am gonna go ahead and manually install the PHP Manager too. This tool is really helpful. And I've got this tab right here. I'm gonna download the extension. I'm going to say OK to this message. Agree. Next. Yes. Close. Alright, now that we have all of our prerequisites, let's open up IIS. You're going to want to make sure to run this as the administrator. So I'm just going to go here. Search IIS, and there it is. Run as administrator. Okay, so you should now see the PHP Manager right here. Click on it and choose the PHP version that you want to use. So right here you have this option to change, and you'll see everything that we added. But since we manually installed PHP 7.3, we're going to have to register this. And now to do that, we have to basically find this PHP CGI.exe file within the PHP 7.3 folder. So I'm just going to click here. Just go right back to where you put it in PHP and then this. And then here's the file. Just click open and then OK. And now you're running PHP 7.3. Now we are ready to actually download OS Ticket. So you're going to want to go to osticket.com slash download and choose the options you would like. For this tutorial, I will choose version 1.12.2 without any language packs. Once your download completes, you can go and un go ahead and unzip this folder. Extract all. Extract. Yeah. Let's try it again. So now you need to copy the upload folder and we are going to paste it into the inutpub www root directory. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate to that for you. So from the C drive, you'll see inutpub right here, www root, and I'm just going to paste the upload folder, continue. And then I'm going to rename this folder OS Ticket. Now you can go ahead and go back to IIS, and we're just going to give this a refresh, and we should notice that OS Ticket pops up below Sites. Here it is. With OS Ticket selected, go ahead and browse 80. On the installer page, you may notice that some of the recommended extensions may not be enabled. This is something we can do with the PHP Manager. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that up for you. And I'm going to go back to it. And you'll see right here we can enable or disable extensions. Alright, so let's peek over at the ones that we actually need. 
So we need IMAP. There it is. INTL. I don't believe APCU will be in this list, but OpCache might be, we can check. There it is. All right. So then just give this page a refresh and we can see that those were added. I'm gonna go ahead and leave mine like this and I'm gonna click continue. Now we need to create the OST config file. Go back to www root folder and then go into OS ticket slash include. If you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see this OST sample config. Go ahead and copy this and paste a copy of it. Continue. All right, and then we want to rename this. OST config. All right, now you can go back to the installer and click continue. So now we're going to need to give the correct permissions on OST config. So let's go back to that. Just right click and go to properties and then security. Click the users, then click edit. Click it again. <laughs> then click allow for full control, apply, then OK. We'll exit out of that. Now let's click continue in this installer. Now you need to fill out the information for your help desk. So let's give your help desk a name. The default system email is the email your customers will send tickets to. This is something you can continue configuring later. The admin email you put in along with the password is what you will use to log into your help desk. The next section is for connecting to your database, but before we do that, we need to actually create the database. To do this, you can use tools such as Heidi SQL or MySQL Workbench. For Windows, I prefer to use Heidi SQL. Go ahead and create a new session called OS Ticket. For your user, you're going to use root, and for the password, we're going to put the same password that we used when we were setting it up for web platform installer. Now we're going to create a database called OS Ticket. Now that we have the database, let's head back to the installer. The table prefix will be placed before the name of each table in the database. We suggest using OST underscore. Your MySQL host will typically be localhost. The database name is the database we just created, OS Ticket. And finally, you're going to put in your MySQL username and password. This completes the installation. If you look at the bottom of the page, you'll see the link to your help desk. 
It's just your URL with slash SCP at the end. Let's log in just for good measure. And there you have it. You're ready to go. For more help, you can go to our documentation website, which is docs.osticket.com. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, and if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and goodbye!